hard with the train. Y'all probably saw us on CNN too. Me and Mike went to church one Sunday. I told Mike, just come on, man. You in trouble. You need to go down around some black folks that pray. You need to come on. No, I ain't lying. That's how it happened. You need to come on. Cause when I get in trouble, I know where I go. I just told Mike, you need to come on, man. We went to Chip Mary's church, first AME in Los Angeles. You was on the news. I went to pick Michael up. Michael, come on, you know, Mike, Mike got that money too where Mike dressed different. Mike, <laughs> out the back. Mike, come out the room. I'm ready. <laughs> Mike, come out the room just like Captain Crunch. <laughs> got all them badges on and them bands on his arm. Got them little stripes going down his pants. The boy looked like the Nutcracker. Going, man, where your suit? Where your suit, suit, tie, shirt, all this equipment on. I talked to Mike too. I talked to him real. So I'm a for show brother. Hollywood ain't changing me. I'm just this way all the time. I'm a for show brother now. I talk to Mike real. I tell Mike all the time, man. I can't have no more kids out at the house. I'm sorry. You can love them all you want, but they can't stay. Everybody got to go. You know what they, what they coming out there for anyway? I ain't but a year older than Mike. I'm 48, Mike 47. I ain't got no eight year old buddies. Little eight, nine year olds coming over ringing the doorbell talking about Dean Dong is Steve there. I told Mike, I said, Mike, you gotta quit letting them little kids come out of your house. I, I just, I love them. Okay, love them over there though. Love them just when, just don't man, please. Get mad at me if you want to, but I told Mike, quit letting them little white kids come out to the house. But Steve, why you say white kid? Ain't no black kids been in the news. What you want me to say? Some of these ain't jokes. I'm just reporting the facts. I tell you right now, once you tell on me, it's all over with. You can change the name of it from Neverland to Never Again Land. I hang a sign on the gate, no more white kids. I don't care how you feel about it. No more white kids. Yes, I said it. You ain't sending no more sick kids to my house. That's the Make-A-Wish Foundation, sending all them sick kids to the house. I told Michael, y'all let me write the Make-A-Wish Foundation a letter. I wish you would send another one of them sick kids to my house. Because I got a little eight-year-old boy, and sometimes I sleep with my son, and it just ain't good. He mine. My boy look just like me. Ain't no doubt that that boy is mine. Little man look just like me, but I don't like sleeping with him. And you ain't supposed to. Sometimes he gets scared at night and come get in the bed with me. You know, he sleep naked. I don't know why, he, well, I know why he sleep naked, cause, cause his daddy sleep naked. Just, probably ain't nothing you supposed to say at Megafest, but since we just keeping it real, I really don't like to have drawers on when I'm sleeping, cause I don't like nothing pulling on me. I'm afraid something will get towed, and so I just try to, you know, pray for me. Oh, God, pray for me. I'm too far out there now. All right, please don't trip, he ain't through with me yet. Said I wasn't gonna say that part of the joke, but I done done it before, so. Mm. Ain't nobody left yet, I guess I'm cool. <laughs> and 
I sleep with my own son and it's crazy because you know how kids sleep. Kids sleep crazy. They all over the bed. You ain't careful with your own child. You'll find yourself in an uncompromising position. I'm laying in the bed with my boy and he came and got in. We sleep. He got a little wild and I was just laying there, you know. And I kept feeling something, you know, around my mouth. And I looked up out my eyes. My boy Buck was right against my lip. I was cussing, so I can't say what I said, but you know about 